I just wanted to quickly share this dream that I had on the 18th of September 2018. So you can see here. Um, it's really, I haven't uh, shared it before because basically it seemed too, you know, impossible to be true. But um, I see this morning, because I, um, you know, it's the way the Lord works, you know, to give me a dream in New Zealand, of course I don't understand how your electoral process works, so I can't understand, you know, um, how this possibly could have come about. But from what I've heard today, um, it looks like it very well can. So I'm going to share it with you, and it's talking about Trump's impeachment. And so in the dream, Tr Trump was standing strong, in his blue suit on a stage while they were about to impeach him. I could see his calf muscles under his fitting trousers. He was wearing young men's trousers and was proud of his legs. I was standing off stage and wanting, wanted to go over and hug him, but I knew it would create a security threat and I might get killed. So I just stayed put while others gathered around him, supporting him. Some were dancing together and I thought about getting Dennis, that's my husband, to dance with me amongst those who were rejoicing with Trump, but I knew Dennis would be too self-conscious too. So that was a pretty strange dream, and I thought, well, why are these people happy? Because in the dream, he actually was getting um, impeached, and they were, you know, dancing about it. So I'll just play you what I, I, I heard this morning, and you will understand it better than I. Michael Horowitz is about to issue his investigative finding that former FBI director Jim Comey was, quote, running a covert op against the president. We can always strive to be a more perfect union, but their version of perfection is a lot closer to my vision of hell. We, we'd eat nothing but kale and quinoa, flying around on our flatulent free non-unicorns on our way to a Bernie Sanders-hosted drum circle. We never get your client is uh, exonerated. Prosecutors don't exonerate. Right. I don't know where Mueller got this in his head. Most Americans uh, were looking to Mueller to tell him what happened, not Nadler. Do you think any fair-minded American believes that Nadler is out to get the truth? He's already convicted the president in his own mind. This is all about impeachment. If they impeach the president over the Mueller report, Trump will get reelected. We'll take the House and the Senate. How do you hire okay, so, um, Clinton's that's, uh, uh, lawyer? Of course, still pretty... Hard for me to understand, but I'm just sort of, you know, putting it out there as I have read it. And um, with this word from the Lord, I also had uh, two other dreams that night, which uh, um, is a confirmation. You know, as I always say, that when my dreams are prophetic, I always get three. So I will just read the other ones quickly as well. Um, I was about to prepare some food in an unknown house. There was a table at the end of the veranda where I could work, but it was in the shade. And there was a small area of sunshine where I was standing, which I thought would be a good place to put a table where I could prepare the food. Then I could see Darren sitting next door, and I called out to him to look up as I saw strange things happening in the sky above him. The sun seemed to split into, t into two. Another sun came out of the first, and then there seemed to be three large shapes where the sun was. But Darren did not look up and told me to stop trying to draw attention to myself. Then there was a rainbow-coloured ring around the sun. It was flattened out and swirling, sort of like a helix, and I could not believe he would not look at it. I cried out that I was only doing this for him and his children, that I didn't even have any of my own, and didn't even care enough. But he didn't even care enough to look at what was happening in the in the world right above him. So that's just sort of talking about pretty much the same thing. I'll, I'll go back to the Trump dream. I hope you can understand that the significance of his young men pants. And the blue, you know, everything there is talking about him strong, you know, strong and young and, and vibrant, you know. So it was a very, very good dream, no matter what was happening around him. The third dream that night, I was about to leave the room. Oh, no, sorry, wrong night. 18th. Yeah, 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 okay, so I called out, oh, sorry. Walking through a settlement, now this was a very interesting dream and I remember it quite distinctly. Walking through a settlement, a pioneer's village, which was being restored. I could see people working 
First thing in the morning, happily sanding and stripping back to the original condition. I saw someone stripping back a cake mixer. mixer. Some of the homes were like gypsy caravans, and all was simple and bursting with new life and vigour, and you couldn't help but want to live there too. So that was a really promising dream. So, um, And with the other parts of it, which are to do with the, um, you know, Trump and and then that's the sun. You know, I don't know what it could mean. You know, it could mean people are talking about an EMP. You know, it could be anything. But no matter what it is, it's it's for good. And so that's why I wanted to put out this video because uh, for those of you, if this happens and it looks like they they're trying to do it again, you know that uh, if you believe in the Lord and and love Trump, you know that uh, his impeachment, you know. Um, by the, you know, is actually a reason for celebration. So um, have faith, and also the rest of the dreams. I haven't worked out the one with me on the veranda yet, um, but you know that going back to the past, going back to the good days, going back to those days, you know that can't be a bad thing, and that's what we need. So I thank you all, and um, and um, for 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 liking and subscribing, and um, all my subscribers, I just thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. And um, uh, if you don't know Jesus, ask him into your life, um, ad um, admit your sins, repent of your sins, and um, and and ask him to save you, and uh, and he will. So. Um, Hope you're having a nice day in America. Love to you all.